It's one of the hot button issues in our world today, artificial mm -hmm. intelligence. It's now crossing from the tech world into the classroom. Atlanta News First report Joshua Skinner shows us Georgia Tech's brand new setup designed to prepare the next generation for the future of just about everything. Deep in the bowels of the Coda building in Midtown lies this. A really loud data center that's at the forefront of college education. This is the largest AI makerspace dedicated completely to students. A Regent Ray Chowdhury with Georgia College of Electrical and Computer Engineering calls it a digital sandbox. This is one of those things which is going to be like electricity. It's going to be everywhere. From construction to how businesses operate, all the way down to art. Artificial intelligence is here. Anything from your vacuum cleaner to your car. Ray Chowdhury wants to make sure Georgia Tech students hit the ground running. If you know how to use AI, you would be more successful than your peers who are not going to use AI. Which is why this first of its kind makerspace, with the help of hardware supplier NVIDIA, is letting tech engineering students dabble. I would say that AI is at a place where uh, computing or learning how to program was about 20 years back. The AI makerspace has been operational for about a month, and they can do a computation in one second that would take 50,000 Georgia Tech students 22 years. The idea here was to provide these computational resources not only to our classrooms and, and design projects and to, the, and to the curriculum, but also have students that engage with it. And that's the limit. Human imagination, kind of. I'm not afraid of AI taking over the world and, and becoming Skynet. What I'm afraid of is people think, people think that it's going to happen. And yet, the future of AI is not certain. It's just reliant on the next generation of minds. It's impossible to predict what's going to happen next. At Georgia Tech, Joshua Skinner, Atlanta News First.